Greetings and welcome, fellow imperialists, to another episode of the semi grand campaign currently in Victoria 2. We are still burning off infamy, which is going slower because we are at war. Right, come on, Belgium. And let's just speed things up a bit. Ships are getting back to normal. Must be no clipper transports at all on the market. And the supply is a dreadful. In contra <laughs> and there's a lot of steamer convoys. Any new armies yet? We can get another infantry. I really want those transports to fight the disease. And the diseases are always harsh. says incorporating this as a state cost 36 colonial power points bullshit Tugul Malachi I mean for the Dutch West Indies I kind of believe it but at the moment there's no Dutch here <laughs> and neither are here and there are some here but I'm pretty sure this is also not completely easy uh, speaking of which, let's actually put some uh, ports here and let's keep building railroads. Right, got another national focus. And let's actually get some mechanical production so we can maybe get some... Uh, Alright, so we could now do the Treaty of London. Which would give up our cause, the Southern Netherlands, so we're not gonna do that. We definitely want more militancy, but that's not happening. Alright. France has not declared yet, so. Room that, I guess. How are you losing? I mean, I get that my NIS score is counted in this as well, but still. Here, have some money. Sure, I'll help. That's at least one thing that uh, the UK can't do on me, against me. And so what's this war against Spain? The Spanish-Portuguese war, which is... They want the status quo, that's fine. Uh, cut Portugal down to size. And I think this is probably... Well, in our side, I don't know how strong Spain is, but... Guess we'll find out. Uh, let's actually leave my transports behind because I don't think they're gonna be much use. Um, and let's go do some naval battles and such. And actually, 
go down a bit. Okay, political reform desire, fine, I don't mind that. Yeah, reform desire is also quite low. Next, I really want to get some state and government so we can get the mission to civilize. And we are five years away from this. Because we want the uh, CB that comes with that. Once we can become a great power, but... By the way, I am fully expecting to lose some ships in this. Let's see if we can harass the Spanish a bit. That's transports, that's a deck mobile fleet. Let's go. The, uh, we are definitely winning. Yeah, crippling the uh, the Spanish fleet here is going to make it harder for them to maintain an empire. Thankfully, thank you. And so I can now finally get rid of these. And build. Like, 21 of these. And peace has returned. Right then, well. Let's see, how did that end? Uh, takes a scroll. Yep, that's what I thought. And we can return you back to normal. Clergyman is going well. Why do you want that? French conquest of Para. Well. We've been sphered by the French, haven't we? Well, on the plus side, that little war should have brought Belgium closer to great power status, so you know. Spain has definitely been kicked down to a notch. Do they have anything left? And yeah, it's back down to 10th. Losing a war is really harsh on your prestige. Still not really interested in this. Could get censored press. May be able to get some political awareness going. I care. Suffrage. Eh, they can wait for their suffrage. Just a bit of role playing as King Willem the First. Right, first of the steam transports, and we are overrunning our uh, bit of business here. Also, we improve with Russia. I kind of wish that flu would go away. Build August, all right. I think we can handle that. Oh, 
So we'll look at that. Looks like England is gonna pull Belgium out of France's sphere. Ooh, look at that! So close! Alright, go suppress rebels. It's unfortunate to have to put down your own population, but you know, it happens. Could give them one point. Right, well, at least. Also, do that over here with these. Build navy in Asia. Right, Belgium is about to become a great power. For some, something is not quite right. The limited constitutionalism. The particular reforms enacted in the past few years have led to a situation where the absolutism of our monarchy can now legitimately be called into question. No longer is the king free to dictate the course of the nation to his own musings. Yeah. But instead, has to, he had to accept several constitutional hems and restrictions on his exercise of power. For these reasons, our government form is no longer the most accurately described as an absolute monarchy. A little bit early, but yeah. Fine, I don't care. I can still set my own choice of party in the end. So let's see, is this the terms that we want? Let's proceed. The Brazil one that they want, but I'm not helping you against France because that's impossible. They are my sphere leader at the moment. Right, come on, Belgium, hang in there. I am currently number 7th. Spain, how did you get back in here? Spain! Right. Get state and government, and then we really need to start working on some defensive techs, because otherwise I will fall behind. Alright, let's go for jingoism, because we will need that for conquest. Come on, don't fall down. Did you lose a factory? Don't tell me you actually sent some troops over here to fight, did you? Russia did, but then that's Russia. No, you did send them over. You doofus. Why would you do that? <sighs> Ah, 
I mean, on the plus side, once you win this war, you will get a nice chunk of prestige. Outbreak of tulip, tu tuberculosis. Oh, perfect. No, not perfect, the other word. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. Uh, moralism? Alright, so what do we have here actually? Uh, the math is a bit off here. Well, let's get rid of you then. Actually, you go stand over there. The complete lack of uh, ships. The, who is making the most of these? It's the United Kingdom, us, and the USA. And almost nobody is making these. I mean, we are making them via our artisans, I think, because I'm pretty sure we have never. That's fine, once our factory starts rolling, that's uh... So do you need a pit mold? Yeah, sure. So with that reactionary, well that's fine. We want it in power anyway. So that has reduced the, uh, the movements a bit. I mean, they'll be back. But I don't have to grant them anything anymore for a while. Ooh, there it is. The North German Federation. Which means that the war against France probably isn't too far off. Uh, I mean, he might start a war with uh, Austria first. Which he could conceivably win. He didn't get Luxembourg, nice. I mean, he might, he still might get that if he manages to sphere it, hit, sphere it before he becomes uh, Germany, but... Uh, that's not likely at this point. Step back down to 10. Build up your troops, build up your everything. Become strong. I mean, I'm not even trying to be... Uh, be this. Alright, let's start encouraging craftsmen, because my factories will need to start running at an efficiency. Alright. Now we're probably making some steamer transports, shipyards, uh, yeah. Probably not gonna make too much profit on these yet, but that'll come. At the very least we'll be able to supply our own ships with uh, transports. We won't have to rely too much more rest. And let's keep going. We do have enough for to get on board the fleet. Still no new European troops. Sweden? Uh, I'm not really interested in Sweden. Become a great power and we'll talk about it. Yeah, sure, Belgium. Alright, 
that's another loop of this episode. Thank you all for watching. See you all next time.